Hi folks, Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, Android L Preview's out. If you have a Nexus 5, you'll be able to enjoy all the features. One of the main features uh, with the Android L Preview is the keyboard. It's so cool. Now, I know many of you are probably wondering, I don't have a Nexus 5! Damn it! When I'm gonna get this keyboard on my phone? <laughs> Screw Android! I hate it! Do not worry, my friends. I'm here to help you. I've got it running on my Galaxy Note 3. And I even got it running on my Galaxy S5. All right, before we begin, you will need a rooted Android device. Any rooted Android smartphone, tablet, you should be able to install this uh, so you can get super high like me on Android. So without any more further delay, let's go do this, baby. <sighs> Hi right, folks, so let me go ahead and show you how to install the keyboard, uh, Android Preview L keyboard. Um, I really love this keyboard uh, because you know I'm a fan of the AOSB keyboards. Uh, this is the latest one, it's gonna give you, um, it is really accurate, love it. And also you can do um, swipe if you want to. I don't use that much, but uh, you know, for those of you who do, uh, very responsive. So let's go ahead and install it. Um, I've got it running both on my Galaxy Note 3 uh, also, my S5 is running, but you can go ahead and install on any uh, rooted Android device. Make sure you have root. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you with my other Galaxy S5 here. Um, go ahead and download the, the APK files. You'll need two APK files. Um, so go to download androidrom.com. All right, and also I'll have the direct links so you can just go there uh, or you can just follow along with the video here. Uh, pretty easy stuff. Go to APK and download AndroidROM.com and then go to Keyboard and then go to uh, Android L Preview Keyboard.zip. This is the file you need. Um, it has the keyboard files you need. And just wait five seconds to enter the captcha and it will download. I'll give it a second here. And I'm going to type ah, left shoe. Left shoe. All right, and this will download the zip file. Is it downloading? Yes, it's downloading there. It um, should take like a couple seconds. While that's downloading, we're gonna go ahead and download ES File Explorer. Um, go to Play Store, type ES, download the ES File Explorer. Uh, we need this because we need to actually uh, put it into the system library folder. Um, so once you downloaded that, um, so I've got the preview keyboard download it here go ahead and open ES file explorer and the first thing we're going to do is go into download folder and you can change the view like this hit the view button that way you can see a little bit better um, go ahead and click on the Android L preview keyboard and click on yes zip viewer and then hit extract all right hit OK and this will extract uh, these two files. If you hit the back button, you'll have a new folder called Android L Preview Keyboard. Go ahead and click on it, and go ahead and click on Latin IME Google IPK. Choose Package Installer. Uh, hit Next, Install. If it asks you for unknown, um, if it asks you it's blocked, make sure you hit Unknown Sources, and then install it. Um, don't open yet, all right? Go ahead and go back up to the ES File Explorer. Just hit the back button. Uh, and what we're going to do is uh, hit the hit the menu button for the Galaxy S5. You have to hold down the menu button. Uh, hit the menu button on your phone. Go to Tools and uh, go to Root Explorer. Hit that on, and uh, you'll get a super user request. Hit Grant. All right. Um, this is why you need Root. And give it a second here. Swipe back to the right, and it should ask you. Uh, to mount the system. If it doesn't for some reason, um, go ahead and click on Root Explorer. All right, hit Mount, Read Write, and uh, hit RW on the slash system. This will allow us to actually write to the system uh, partition. So next what we're going to do is uh, do a long press on the lib jne latin ime google dot so. This is the library we need. Uh, and do a copy. All right. And then we're going to browse to the root directory and then go to system. And then we're going to go to lib folder there. All right. And you're going to hit paste. 
All right, there's actually one more thing you have to do. Um, it took me a while to get this, but finally got it working. Uh, basically, you have to set this to read, write, or read, read. Uh, read, write for the owner, and read, read for everyone else. Um, so go ahead, do a long press here. Uh, click more, go to properties, and change on the permissions there. And go ahead and uh, get rid of execute there. And just like that, read, write for owner, group, other, uh, read, read. Hit OK. All right, that's pretty much it. Now you just have to go into your settings. Uh, go into settings and change your keyboard. Um, so go to your language and inputs. I'm going to go here. Uh, your menus might look different, but it should be there. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and select Google Keyboard. Hit OK. All right. And I'm going to change the keyboard to Google Keyboard and hit Settings on Google Keyboard and go ahead and go all the way down to Advanced Settings uh, and then change the color scheme to Material. And finally, we should have Google Keyboard working. Boom shakalaka. There you have it. Now you should be able to use a Google Keyboard on any uh, Android device, the Android L Preview Keyboard. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy your Android L keyboard. Yeah. And thanks guys who are watching this video. As always, don't forget to hit that like button here and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And as always, stay on Android.